How you doing? And welcome to a very special Code Extra where we are live at the Providence Civic Center, a.k.a. the Dunkin' Donuts Center. <laughs> I still call it that 20 years later. And we're just going around interviewing some cosplayers and uh, various fans around the building. And uh, what's your name? My real name is Jessica Parzik, but I'm Elsa today. All right. And your name? My real name is Maddie Souza, and I'm Ahsoka Tano today. Yes, and we dig the costumes as well. So it's like, um, what's your favorite thing about uh, Rhode Island Comic Con that's going to be coming up? I always love Rhode Island Comic Con. It's one of the first cons I ever went to. So there's not one thing that I can choose that's my favorite because it's always got the good guests fun people and you make friends and family at comic-con definitely in for you uh i would say the same being able to be someone else for a day just kind of forget the outside world and come out and ha meet with friends that you probably don't even see more than three times a year so okay so what's your favorite thing about cosplaying I would say meeting people that are fans of what you do, like the first time I did Elsa, I knew it was going to be big, but I didn't know how big it was because, you know, even years after, kids still love it. And you? Uh, probably the same thing. <laughs> I love um, so I do a bunch of different characters, but I decided, hey, there's a wide variety, why not a princess? Because Cosplaying is for everybody and anything, Comic-Con, same thing, you can be whatever you want, anime, cartoon, princess, villain, but yeah. Gotcha. And why is so Katana? Um, well, I used to do more so comic-based cosplay, so I did a lot of Marvel and DC stuff. Um, and I realized I didn't have any Star Wars cosplay, so I was like, I feel like that's a very popular option to go for. So. I just really love Rosario Dawson in The Mandalorian, and I also love the animated version of Ahsoka, so. Yeah, that's amazing, but thank you for your time. You enjoy the show, this is amazing. Thank you very much. So who are you dressed up as? I'm dressed up as uh, Dr. Octopus. Why Dr. Octopus? Because he, he has a lot of arms, and also me and my cousin like him. Okay, so is he your, fa is he your favorite uh, supervillain? My second favorite supervillain. Okay, so who's your first? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. So did you like Spider-Man No Way Home? Yes. What was your favorite part? Huh? What was your favorite part? When uh, Dr. Octopus was defeating Spider-Man. You are dressed up as a venomized storm stormtrooper. Um, I came up with the concept of taking two characters that I liked, a stormtrooper, which always misses its marks, and Venom, which takes over the host. So what I've done is I've gone from a Venomized Stormtrooper, now I'm working to be a Venomized Sith Lord. That's why I have the lightsaber right now, too. Yeah, that's, very cre that's very creative. That's amazing. So. A friend of mine, he did the paint job on the Venomized helmet. My friend Mike Doherty, he's a local artist. He does amazing work, and he did this all freehand for me. Really? Freehand? Yeah, that, look, that came out amazing, too. Like I, and he, I, and Just to be able to see out of it now because my other one I had it was very heavy very heavy plastic but this right here is so much better okay so now as a Sith Lord as a venomized stormtrooper Sith Lord you have the stormtrooper in you so you think you'll actually hit your targets well yes because I am waving a big light sword around so I should hit something <laughs> If not, I might miss everything. Okay. And are you going to Rhode Island Comic Con this year? Yes, I will be at Rhode Island Comic Con this year. Uh, dressed up as this or possibly something? I might be doing this, but I also sell at the Comic Cons. Oh, okay. I am a collector of 35 years of all pop culture, Star Wars stuff. So I have my small little um, J Bo's collectibles that I do out of my own house. Really? Okay. So, huge Star Wars fan, so. We'll have to come over because we're right now we're set up here. We're doing an Autism Speaks Table event. We have an original Jim Lawson piece that he is one of the original. Uh, until Rhode Island Comic Con, we're selling tickets at ten dollars. It's a very limited piece. It's an eleven by seventeen. We raise a hundred percent of our proceeds goes towards Autism Speaks. Oh, that's amazing! So thank you for your time, and we will. We'll do this way. Oh, okay, that's even better. Thank you. Sir. So yeah, I'm now we are here in front of you know in front of the dunk. He calling it that, but in front of the Ghostbusters mobile, and we have some of the cosplayers here. What's your name? My name's Jeff. Jeff. And your name? Jason. Jason. And why Ghostbusters? It's just been a fan favorite of mine ever since I was growing up. 
Yes, in uh, 1984, I made my own backpack, and the movie just came out. Really, really, really. So is this something you guys plan on doing for uh, Rhode Island Comic Con coming up? I believe so. Yeah, we're here promoting that. It's the first weekend in November. We should be back down here for it. All right, and then also, like, all right, Ghost but Part 1 or 2? What was the better one? One. 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 Really? No love for Part 2? It's okay. You know, we'll, we'll watch it, but uh, we'll watch one twice as much as we'll watch number two. Okay, and what about the re what about the new movie that came out? Or something? That's really good. I think it's a fan favorite. I think it's more of a fan movie, which I like personally. What, uh, how about you? I think it's did a really good job. Hopefully setting up for a second one, too. But, uh, really? And when it comes to the 2016, watch the director's cut way better. Really? I agree. I, I, didn't, I heard nothing but bad things about that one. Watch the watch the director's cut and then the theatrical version. You'll find out why. Oh, okay. And what was your name? Too? Jay. Jay. Yep. Jay Burroughs, I assume. Yes, sir. All right. And Jeff Keenan and Glenn Glenick. Glenn Glenick. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we're going to be here interviewing so many people throughout the game. We appreciate your time, guys. Yeah. Thank you. What's going on, y'all? We're here back here at the Bruins game. Give, you know they're singing the national anthem and all that. But right here we have Peter Parker. Not sure which one it is, whether it's Holland, Andrew Garfield, or McGuire. But how's it going, man? I'm doing all right. How about you guys? Doing great, great. So uh, tell us, you know, first of all, your real name and, you know, the whole, you know, what cosplaying means to you. Well, real name is going to be uh, my, uh, Mike is going to be my real name. Cosplaying means a lot to me, not just because I get to dress up as my favorite hero or anything like that, but because you take a look around, you see all the young kids, all the young people that aspire, that they look up to these characters, you know, and seeing them in real life really helps to bring up their day a little bit, you know, and especially in this world where things have just been a little bit negative as of late. Everyone could use a little bit of positivity, you know, and to me, that's what the essence of Spider-Man is, being able to bring a little bit of light to everyone, you know. That's, that's what that means to me, you know? You dress up as? Well, it's mainly Spider-Man right now. I'm trying to, trying to branch out, but unfortunately, you know, just like the real Spider-Man, money is a bit of an issue right now, so. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. How it is. Now, are you also going to Rhode Island Comic Con this year? Oh, absolutely. I went last year as well. It was an absolute blast. Absolute blast. A anyone who doesn't go, you're truly missing out on everything. You really are missing out. Spidey, do a flip. Go, well, can you? Well, I got to warm up for that. Oh, yeah. Hey. But we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yeah, anytime, man. Have anytime. a good one. You too. What's going on? We're back, and we're here with the man who made this all possible for us, Mr. Mike Bergstrom. How's it going, sir? It's going good, man. How about yourself? How you doing? Good. So how did this whole thing come about? Uh, so we work with the Providence Bruins on a lot of events, and they came to us and said, hey, we want to do Rhode Island Comic Con weekend. So we want to do some stuff. We want to have cosplayers down here, cars. We want to have uh, displays, everything. So we reached out, and we were able to get this accomplished. Really? And, and personal, thank you for having us, having us on. Like This was like an amazing experience. I hate that song, honestly. <laughs> it's a little out. It, it's a little played out. Just... Oh, absolutely. I think only people only in North Carolina and... Boston. Boston. That's it. <laughs> so in all of us. So um, you we have a Rhode Island Comic Con coming up. So and it's the tenth the tenth anniversary. Anything that you can tell us? Oh man, I can't give you any upcoming celebrities, but I can just say it's going to be a really good time. We went big this year. It's uh, you know the saying, go big or go home. We went big. Yeah, it's gonna we're gonna blow the roof off everything down here in Providence. Yes, and possibly Codex Prime hosting some panels or something. There's a good possibility that might happen. I don't know, you know, but yeah, no, it definitely will happen. We'll make sure you're there for some of them. I promise. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So um any anything like any other Rhode Island Comic Con events coming up like within the pat within the year up leading up to Comic Con this year? I don't know if we have any other events really coming up. I know we have our Colorado show, but that's out west and stuff like that. Obviously, you're not traveling out there a little, little too far for you. Um, we might be doing some other stuff with like some of our restaurants and some of our other sponsors, but I don't know what yet. So I don't want to say because I don't want to make promises I can't keep. So. But yes, once again, thank you for having us here. Thank you for joining us on this interview. And we're going to have you on the real show. We're going to just talk. We know you work at GameStop, so we're going to just talk games. I'm ready to nerd out, man. I'm told you. I know my pop culture, my video games, music, movies, you name it. Let's go. I'm All right. There we go. <laughs> All right, bro. Thanks a lot. Thank you, man. All right. Thanks.